We can't forget you, your mommy's first baby. Hello babes, so welcome back to my, just ruined my intro. Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing amazing. This is a long awaited video for some of you guys. Um, you've been wanting me to show you guys my plans, give you guys some tips. I'm gonna answer a few questions towards the end of the video um, just because I wanna get through all my plans and kind of what I wanna tell you about them. A lot of you guys have the same exact plans as me, whether you guys saw on IG of me having them and then you guys went to go get one for yourselves or you guys have just become a new plant mom. I'm very proud to own these guys because they are living things that I take care of like literally on a daily. And I feel like they're therapeutic for me to be honest with you. They make me very, very happy. I never imagined myself having this many plants. So don't forget my first queen. This is the queen right here, Fiona herself. Fiona is a diva. She likes to be by herself in my room. Just kind of like her mom. Um, she likes to be by herself. She does not like to have friends. So I keep her away from her brothers and sisters because she just doesn't do well with people. I feel you, girl. I totally get it. I don't have a name for every single one of them, by the way, you guys. Only some of them have names. We see you, girl. Watch yourself. She literally sleeps beside me. So she's like in the corner of my bedroom. So I'm always with you, girl. I know because, no, we're the same. Yeah. Can you stop getting jealous? It's a video. We have to show We have to show your brothers and sisters too. It's not just about you, Fiona. You're not the only child anymore. If you guys talk to your plants, that's totally fine. It's totally normal. It's just like when you talk to your dog and you're like, oh my god, you're so you, oh my god, you. It's the same thing. Anytime there's a new baby, I'm always like, oh my god, you're so cute. Real footage of me when a baby is born. By the way, if you are new to this channel or you just stumbled upon this video because you love plant videos or you're a plant mom, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy watching this video. Maybe check out some of my other videos as well. Watch this though. And hit that bell so you get notified so you don't miss any of my uploads, you know? Because some of y'all be like, Steph, when you're uploading, I'm like, are you even, did you even click the bell though? So I'm gonna go through each and every one of them. When I first started like buying plants, I got obsessed. It was an obsession. But I realized for me, aesthetic and like my decor and my interior is more important than having a forest. I don't wanna be like one of those cat ladies that buy like 20 cats. I don't wanna be like that. These ones are good and placed like throughout my space so that it doesn't look too overwhelming. I was realizing that I was like collecting them and I'm like, okay, Steph, it's it's starting not to be cute. Like, I'm just gonna be honest with you, it's starting not to be cute. And now when I go to plant nurseries, I'm not like, gotta grab you, gotta grab you, gotta grab you, and I'm there with like the cart, and the cart's like falling over. It's not me anymore. This one is a Sans Viera, or you guys also know her as a snake plant, or you guys also know her as Mother Laws mother-in-law's tongue it is the snake plant Laurenti. so there's different ones but this one down here is also as you guys can see a snake plant but you can see that they're the same family obviously they look very similar with these long leaves i also have another one over there i love you baby i'll get to you soon i feel like that one's my favorite oh my god i think Fiona and she has like a very yellow leaf exterior she and all most snake plants do not like to be watered very often they can tolerate just being dry in general do not water her as often as you do most other plants she really thrives in the sun but if you don't want her to like grow 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 too fast you do want to keep her off to the side which is what i do she's also on the stand and i know a lot of you guys are going to ask where i got this stand from this stand was from a plant nursery it was from a uh, tara Terra Gardens, go check that out if you guys like are around that area or even just take that drive. It's so worth it, you guys. That place has so, like, the variety is beautiful. I also love Sheridan uh, Nursery, so go check all those locations. Like, I, I swear I've tried all of them. There's a bunch on Amazon, honestly, and I'll link a few other ones. It goes with my style, so that's why I love it. She can tolerate very low light, too. What plant do you recommend for a beginner? Someone that, like, does not want to kill their plant. This one over here, snake plants, very, very, very low maintenance. If you were like, I want to be a plant mom, but I don't want to kill it. I still want it to look aesthetically pleasing. This is the plant to go for. There's so many different kinds, you guys. This is also a Sans Viera snake plant, but she is called Moonshine. That is her specific name. She has two babies, and I actually didn't even realize that because she's kind of like in a corner. Now I've moved her by like my OTD mirror. Love, love the tone of her leaves. It's like a very fresh neutral green like this one i had not watered her for like a very long time because i was used to ignoring fiona fiona is more tolerant of that for some reason she's larger but maybe it's the type that she is if you find that the leaves are shriveling which is what happened to this one i was starting to freak out 
and that's the first time it's, I've ever seen that and they were very shrilly like I mean these leaves are very sturdy very hard like it's hard to bend but it was so like soft and shrivelly, and I was like, oh my god. I watered her, and the next day, you guys, she took in all that water, and she was back to normal, and I was like, <sighs> this is Whitney over here. I look like a crazy plant lady in the viewfinder right now. I really do. I, this is bad. So it's a Sansevieria Whitney, or a snake plant Whitney, and her leaves are a lot more like wider than these guys are. And the other thing, you guys, about these plants is that they can handle again like i was saying to be in low light so for example my bathroom does not have a window in it so it can handle being in there whitney was in there for like a few months to be honest with you so it can handle that if you guys do not have a lot of windows if you live in a basement apartment and you still want to be a part of the plant squad but you feel like you can't this is the plant to go look up low light plants they're very very minimalistic they're very modern and they also don't take up too much space because they kind of go up so they're kind of very skinny if the lighting in this video goes in and out you guys i'm sorry but i love using like natural lighting i don't like artificial lighting so you guys are probably like we don't care stuff and you know what that's great that's why i love you guys so this is one of my faves if you guys want to know which one is my favorite it's hard I feel like I go through stages right now I feel like I'm obsessed with her but I really 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 love my Audrey so I have three ficuses ficuses ficus who cares this one this one and this one this is the rubber plant or the ficus elastica. There's so many different kinds, you guys. So if you have one, yours might look completely different. If you're wondering where I got this tea from, I got it from my shop. So I make tad eye teas, if you guys don't know that. And I started a shop on my website, stephaniewisetto.com. So I made this yesterday and I'm like, I want to wear a cute kind of like sandy shirt for my plant haul. So I made it yesterday and I feel like it kind of just it makes me look like a plant mom. This is a plant mom shirt, you know? She has these two little babies over here. Can you see them? Like, oh. she has a very um, velvety texture on her leaves. You're probably wondering why do these leaves look like they're weird? Well, that's because I was a very bad plant mom one day. Insect uh, plant spray. It said be careful with spraying it on some of your plants because the leaves have special characters. I'm going to show you guys a spray that I'm currently using if you guys are having like different insects inside of your plants. It's really working for me. Um, but this is Ficus Audrey. So her name is Audrey. She's so beautiful. She's definitely like one of my favorites. I feel like this is number one right now and she's number two. The thing that you hear online that ficuses can be very um, high maintenance um, or they're not the easiest plant to take care of. I don't necessarily think that that's the case. I've learned a lot from my plants by just having them in my space. So not every single thing that you read on a plant is going to be true. You're going to have to do trial and error. For example, it says not to put your ficus uh, lirata or fiddly fig inside of the full-blown sun. She sits in full-blown sun for hours. Um, she can actually handle it. So you'll see articles saying they can handle sun and then you'll see others like don't put them in the sun you honestly have to learn sometimes for yourself i can only tell you guys what works for me direct light is basically when the sun is directly hitting onto the plant um she i would say she's a medium light so i usually have her on top of my coffee table and my coffee table is a few feet away from my uh, my window and anytime my balcony door like lets sun go on her She's like mommy. She doesn't like when sun is on her. She only likes when the sun is outside to put her in a good mood. So yeah, she does not do well. You can really burn her leaves. Um, whereas this ficus can handle more sun. This one can handle it, but doesn't like to be in the sun as much as this. This is the ficus lorata. This is the ficus audrey. This is also known as fiddly fig. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, everywhere. This is a very popular plant because uh, she's a uh, gorge, like watch so. She's beautiful. I mean, to be honest with you, she's not really that hard to take care of. For me, I feel like she likes um, direct light. I don't think she likes to be in the sun like full, full, full blown all day. For me, the sun will hit her like afternoon for me. Um, and then it'll be there for a couple hours and that like, she has been loving that and I feel like she thrives when she has a bunch of light. I feel like she's a lot more slow and dormant to grow if I move her away from the window. So she is literally in my window where there's lots of light. Whereas this one, coffee table, so she's away, she's more medium to low. And this guy over here is more medium, 
but can also handle high light except I do not let the sun like sit right on top of it the reason why is because you will notice it gets burns on its leaves a lot faster whereas this one I noticed when she's in full-blown sun she's kind of like um mom it's a little bit too hot like I'm burning at this point you gave me a sunburn so what I've done is she's in that window but she's not where the sun is hitting her she's just a little bit away like kind of on a corner the other thing I want to mention is I don't have a regular watering um, schedule. I'm going to show you guys a clip of when I have watered my um, fiddle leaf fig so you guys can see how I water. Maybe it'll give you guys some tips. The reason being is because I enjoy checking up on them instead of being like, oh, Sunday, day of watering my plants. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, boring. Even by the top of the soil, you can tell when it is really dry. You pick it up and it like feels super dry in your hands like this. The other thing that I love to use is my little meter over here. You guys can get these at a plant nursery. You can get them on Amazon. Basically, anywhere that has to do with plants, I'm sure they're gonna have one of these. It's basically a meter that's gonna detect if your soil is really dry. You see how dry this is? She likes to be moist just because of the nature of the actual plant, but because she sits in the sun, I notice she needs to be watered a lot extra than the others. Um, so if you just stick it down, I would say about two to three inches. They typically say you can stick your finger in two inches if you want. But I just like that the meter is really super easy to use. Like, I don't really measure you guys. I do a lot of things by eye. I got this from Ikea. I think it's like $2 or something. Always checking all my plants. I'm that type of plant owner. If you do want to like get onto a schedule, then find out how much they generally like and see how long they last throughout the week. Normally people water their plants like once a week depending on the plant and the season you do not water your plants the same in winter and fall the other thing i don't do is i don't fertilize my plants i'm going to start apparently you know after a while your soil is not going to be providing the nutrients that the plant needs she has her babies that literally just came out and she has a whole other one there's a whole other bud in there that's trying to come out so it's at like an eight now so you don't want it to be too too wet down here because it can cause root rot i like to use a little squirt bottle just like this and i love to mist her and what the misting is doing is basically creating humidity. A lot of plants do not like that harsh cold air from air conditioning vents. So try to keep your plants away from those vents as much as you can. They do not like when the air is really dry because don't forget, these plants are supposed to be in really kind of warm temperatures, a hot climate. They do like to stay moist. They do not like to dry out. Last but not least is my beautiful Pothos Marble Queen. It has this marbled effect on her leaves. That's why she's called Marble Queen. Basically has like a long vine. She's growing these two other vines, you guys. If only you guys saw like before pictures of these guys, it's insane. Like when you look back, you feel so proud that like you've done that and you've grown these plants, you've taken care of them. I like to sit her on my dresser in my living room. She's also a low light plant. She doesn't like a lot of light. I notice she gets very dry and she does get burn spots. She really thrives when the window is there, but she's away from the window. See how the light is just hitting her from my window? This is what she wants. Like she loves that. She can also handle super low light, like in your bathroom again. You can also get those sticks that I feel like I call ladders. It's basically a stick and you wrap the vine around it. So for example, if you don't want it to be a vine, the stick, you can wrap this upwards. I say like every other day, every three, four days, I just like to check up on them. I like to use my meter and make sure the first two inches of your plants are not dry. If it says dry on the meter, you do want to give it water. A lot of my planters do not have a drainage hole. I don't think any of them do, but they do all have pebbles at the bottom. But drainage holes are also very, very good if you are a beginner. Reason being, if you don't know what a drainage hole is, is it's when the pot at the bottom has a hole. So none of mine do. Um, what that means is when you're watering it, you're supposed to water it enough that the water comes out of the bottom, except for this guy. I don't feel like you should do that for this guy. Once the water comes out of the bottom, you don't let it sit in the, you have to have a, like a plate at the bottom. If that plate ends up full of water, that's the water you just throw out. You don't let it sit in there because that means that's as much water as your plant needs. You'll notice that plants that are sitting in light are going to be drained faster. The moisture is going to come out. This guy needs to drink Like, girl, you thirsty. I'm thirsty. This is mine, girl. This is not yours. Watch yourself. But hopefully that helps you guys out. Now I'm going to answer 
some of your questions and also just leave some love let me know if you guys want to see more plant hauls if you guys are excited about this video if you guys love that i did this video please let me know down below yay plant tips for beginners please so i did mention some tips throughout this video hopefully it helps you i do recommend this plant over here if you are very 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 new and i feel like get plants slowly do not just like go all in it's another thing you guys they're very very good for cleaning up the air a lot of these guys actually remove toxins in the air this guy is very good to sleep next to you so a lot of these guys have really good benefits some plants are even good for people that have a ton of allergies it can clean up your air and it can actually reduce some of your allergy um, symptoms even another beginner tip is getting the meter stick that is a number one tip which plants are the lowest maintenance my plants always die so get this one Jessica I feel like if you kill this then I'm I'm worried that uh, get the snake plant that's the number one thing they do they overwater their plants do not overwater this guy inside plants for apartments i know that a lot of them don't have big windows i do have floor to ceiling windows so i do have a lot of light go on pinterest and look up low light plants if your apartment if you're struggling with light the pothos is really great the philodendron is really great this one is really great if you have light you can do any of these girl where do you find the containers and how do you choose the plant this one is by Elisa Maria. So I find my planters a lot of the times at HomeSense and I do DIY. So if it's ugly and it's like dark brown or like cracked or something, I, and I'll like do it white and then it matches my aesthetic. As you guys can tell, all of my pots are white. Watch this stuff. I find some of my planters at the actual plant nursery, Home Depot. You probably find a lot of them at Target even though I don't have Target here anymore. Let's move on to the next question. This is too painful. Look at your local plant nurseries. I'm gonna link some from Amazon as well. Have you had to propagate or replant any? Um, I have replanted two of them, yes. Replanting is quite easy. I feel like that's a whole other video. I can replant like in a vlog or something. Propagate, I don't propagate, and I'm not really into it. Your solution for tiny flies. Just reminded me, one moment. So this is the exact one that I have, you guys. So I got it at the plant nursery because I was telling the girl. It is by Schultz, Insect insecticidal insecticidal soap so i just like to literally spray sometimes directly on this okay let me tell you something ever since i started using this girl like do i think you need this exact one no i don't but it's what it's like whatever's in here i think it's gonna do a ton of wonders for you let me tell you something i would be sitting on my sofa watching youtube videos and i'm just like there at like 10 11 o'clock at night and all of a sudden there's like a fly that goes right here and i'd be like <laughs> Because I hate that. Like, I cannot stand that. They're disgusting. <laughs> I have a jewelry brain. I don't know. And ever since I used this, I kid you not, I have not seen one fly. And you would be seeing it right now because it's very humid. Ugh, it's disgusting. Other thing I've been doing is when I water my plants with my little cantina over here, um, I put water inside. And then what I'll do is instead of spraying it on top, it's just another way, spray some inside of here, kind of like wiggle it. Just like that. And then you just want to water your plant and it's gonna go inside the soil. The only egg that wants from a chicken. How do you bring plants back to life? Sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot. So if some leaves are yellow, that generally means overwatered. Clip that leaf, let your soil dry out. No, my plants have, plants have never really gone yellow, but I think this one maybe. You can clip things off. Um, if some leaf is dying or if it's brown, that can actually spread to the next leaf or the whole plant, so chop her off. Um, sometimes it needs to be repotted. My plant has white stuff in the soil help, so that is fungus, girl. That means that your soil is too wet. Again, overwatering is like the number one thing that uh, that people just get carried away with. Even when I first started, you just wanna water, 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 because you think, oh my God, grow, grow, grow. But that's, it's just like us, right? Like you can't just give me like a, a big jug of water and expect me to gulp that all the way down. I had that with Fiona and it's because I overwatered her. So I've had that before. What you do want to do is you want to scoop that layer of all the white, even if it takes a really like a lot of your soil and grab some topping soil and put it around. If it's deeper than that, you will have to repot her. I think that's as many questions as I can answer. 
Also, if you guys have never checked out my website, I'm also going to be selling this necklace, which I'm so excited about, you guys. I'm obsessed. So yeah, that's going to be coming to the website. I'm also going to be restocking some crewnecks as well, crewneck sweaters. I'm going to be doing some teas. I think I'm going to be creating this one to you guys for you, so I can't wait. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave this video a big thumbs up. Give it a big like, you guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos. And also, don't forget to follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo. Say bye, guys. They're not that talkative. You know, thank you so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.